Before I start the reaction video or video I just made, go subscribe to my second channel, Be Ryan 16 number two, because then it's my backup channel, and I just really want to do a lot of things on YouTube now. So go subscribe to my backup channel, and here is the video. It's me, Mario and the gang. You probably know my name, and so we start the game. Jumping high, ducking low from the sky to the ocean. How What's up, bro? This is me, Randy Arms, and we're going to be reacted to that time Cartoon Network converted Nickelodeon by VS Game of 94 because Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon and Disney have been competing on which company is the best. So, you know, um, Nick, Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network, right, both of them compete on which one makes better um, cartoons, and Nickelodeon and Disney compete on who makes better live action shows, which I actually can't choose. But there was a time where a commercial for Cartoon Network aired on on Nickelodeon, if I remember that, which I actually do. So, so it basically said we're on the wrong channel. But you know, basically when I talked about it, same guys, same guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button and I don't, and I don't forget to my notes get another if I upload a new video. Come on, we're we next. I'll see you after the so guys. Let's get to the video in three, two, one. We are back on the issues. Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon have always been some of the biggest rivals on TV, just yeah. because each of them target the same general audience of kids, and they've dived into live action as well as animation to see what works best. Over the years, their rivalry never faded away, but it seems like now they just don't acknowledge each other anymore. Well, back I mean, in the it, classic days, there was something a time. pretty interesting happened that you probably wouldn't see today. In commercials on each network, they would often throw small jabs at each other to make viewers change sides. A nice little little example of this is when 90s Nick decided to air a commercial promoting their various cartoons while so obviously making fun of Cartoon Network. They yeah, never directly they said their competitor's name out loud, but it was obvious based on the iconic checkerboard theme what this was really meant to accomplish. I mean, they even made a logo for something called Ordinary Tunes, which Ordinary is tunes. literally just Cartoon Network. All weekend long, new Nicktoon episodes, new Nicktoon music videos, plus the chance to see your very own Nicktoon drawing. So tune out Ordinary Tunes. Stuff like this that means is what you so often, but this jab was just a small move in the big chess game of these networks. However, Cartoon Network made a move so huge that instantly resulted in a checkmate. I don't think Nick had any chance of recovering from what happened. Years ago, there were local Nick advertisement slots you could buy that weren't completely monitored by whoever decides the schedule, which means that any company could just buy a slot to promote whatever they want. I'm sure I mean, with the did. normal TV restrictions though. No, anyway, no, the no, people over at Cartoon Network's like marketing that, team though. decided to use this opportunity, so they made an entire commercial that aired on Nick. Yep, you heard that right. They actually this did actually that. happens. Various characters appear on the orange background. It was Johnny know, Bravo talking about how they are supposed to be here as they rush um, to promote Cartoon um, Cartoon Fridays. Bit, um, pink. Um, but we're not even supposed to be on this channel. Cartoon Network is. And Ooh, hey, pretty mama. Johnny, oh, Cartoon Network's got this thing. Bamboo right. from um, I am Weasel. And we're on Pop up hey, girl. Um. Oh. Pop up girls. These are our shows. All your favorite cartoon cartoons back to back with a new episode every Friday. Uh, they're on Fridays at 7 mm. over on Cartoon Network. You might like to switch over there now. Somebody's coming! We'll see you over there. Hey! <laughs> Yeah. Well, that was amazing. Nothing that was asserts good. Cartoon Network's dominance anymore than literally airing a commercial on their competitor's network without them knowing. The person who uploaded this on YouTube is I am Steve Patrick, who specified in the description that he was a writer and producer for the Invasion commercial. What's oh. really cool about this is just how much effort went into it. Since they were making this ultimate 1 billion IQ power move, of course a lot would have to go into it to sway Nick fans over to Cartoon Network. Having every Everything originally animated and voice acted for this occasion is probably the best way to get people excited too, so I'm assuming it really worked in promoting Cartoon Cartoon Fridays. You know, I really wish we saw more of this type of stuff today, but it just doesn't seem to happen at all. Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon are of course still competitors, but I guess throwing jabs at each other is too much of a hassle for them. It's also a lot less likely to happen today because Cartoon Network is more aimed towards the older audiences, and Nick's shows 
generally aimed towards very young kids, so I mean the competition is still there, but it's a lot less than it used to be. Either way, at least we can look back at the amazing rivalry and know that this masterpiece actually made its way to Nick. Bravo, CN. Bravo, indeed. I imagine Disney did this next. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below and what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. So yeah, if y'all don't know, um, Cartoon Network binned at this. And so yeah, if y'all don't know, alright. The only reason I know is because I'm a cartoon fan, and I always look up Nickelodeon logos and commercials. Cartoon Network commercials and logos and stuff, so that that I know, because cause if I remember in the OKKO special, there was a city, it was an old Cartoon Network city that was in like the, the 2000s and stuff, which I remember, even though I was born in 2006, I'm still like a big cartoon fan and stuff, yeah. You know, and another surprising, another surprising thing is this, Disney actually didn't join us, actually. Well, even though Disney actually makes more money since makes more money than i think makes more money than cartoon network and nickelodeon it's, i mean they still could have get more audience if they you know target both of them so yeah so guys that was the video i hope you enjoyed the video please hit that like button and that subscribe button and that notification button oh yeah guys um also um please check out my last reaction it was about um amphibia um towards attack which honestly Amphibia is Disney's next Gravity Falls until um until um the Owl House comes out because if I don't remember the um the Owl House creator is actually um Alex Church um is Gravity Falls um creator Alex Church um girlfriend and stuff so yeah and for any reason why I keep talking it's because I'm trying to make this make this reaction longer we well, not that long also you know if I talk about something then yeah. Oh, so I don't have to add fail, sir. So, anyways, that's the video. I'll see you, Brussels, later. Ah, peace.